Hi, this is Heart Rhythm TV. I'm Juan Carlos Serpa. Today, we're going to talk about the late break clinical trials of ablation. And now I have with me Dr. Turagan, and we're going to talk about the manifest PF. What is it? What did you get in the manifest PF, and what is this all about? What was the, 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 the project, and, and how do you do it? First of all, thanks for the invitation. Um, so, manifest PF is a, is a multinational, multi center collaborative effort of all patients who underwent per ablation for paroxysmal and persistent AF after the first post-approval experience in Europe. So these are the first 24 centers in Europe who basically received catheter ablation and underwent and did the procedure on patients. So this included about 1,500 patients in total, out of which what we did for this sub-analysis was we classified them into three groups, which is patients with no heart failure versus preserved EF versus reduced EF. So reduced EF basically involved you know, patients with EF of less than 50%. And we further classified them into mildly reduced, which is 41 to 50 percent, and severely reduced, which is less than 40 percent. And we try to look to compare outcomes of safety and effectiveness between the two. Great. And we don't have that information with pulse field ablation, so it's right. really needed. Correct. What was the catch-up, the difference, and, and the highlights that you understand on this story, analyzing the patients with heart failure? with preserve ejection fraction and with mild and reduce ejection fraction. So the main, the takeaway point here is, is in between the two heart failure subtypes, which is preserved and reduced EF, there's no difference in clinical effectiveness. They work exactly the same, which is about 70% success rate. And importantly, the safety is, is comparable between the two. Safety complication rate was about 2% in both uh, in the reduced EF group and actually 0% in the preserved EF group. And how about the beneficials and how it helps during the procedure? because heart failure patients, you don't want to spend the whole day doing this ablation. Right, see the important thing about with ablation is it, in heart failure, with radiofrequency and cryo, the procedure duration is long, people need general anesthesia, and especially worry about saline irrigation with radiofrequency. So to overcome all of that, pulse field basically you know, takes away all of those uh, problems, mainly because the procedure is fast, the, the procedure times are about 75 minutes in the reduced EF groups, uh, the procedure is very efficient and very safe. Um, so it is definitely going to be a game changer in heart failure. In pulse field ablation, we have seen some side effects, some adverse effects, as artery spasm, hemolysis. How is this? Did you see anything of the use? There was no instances of hemolysis, no instances of coronary spasm, no instance of phrenic nerve injury. And even the patients with, who had respiratory complications were only about 1% to 2% in the reduced and the normal EF group. So overall, there's a good signal that it is very safe and effective. Got it. So. As in radiofrequency ablation, we had better results in heart failure. With pulse field ablation, we're doing that too. Right, with pulse field, with heart failure, it is very, very effective. And, and of course, the success rate in no heart failure is a little higher in general, and that you can expect. Yeah. But importantly, in the heart failure group, is very, very safe and effective. Again, the caveat here is it's a non-randomized analysis. So, you know, these are signals basically showing that, you know, it is safe and effective, but obviously we need large randomized data. So we're changing the clinical practice even in these kind of patients with heart failure? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Okay. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. Congratulations for your work. Thank you very much. Great work and nice having you here. Thank you. It's my pleasure. And thank you all for watching in Heart Freedom TV.